Today I'm going to show you how to make a really cool candle-powered snow globe. Start by taking a glass jar with a metal lid and remove the top. Then select an ornament to go inside your globe. I'm using this truck with a tree on the back. And I'm using green plasticine to fix it to the bottom of the jar. You could use white plasticine if you have some. Push it firmly into the bottom of the jar and fix on your ornament. I'm going to make a small putt-putt steam engine to power the globe out of this copper pipe, which is 3 sixteenths of an inch diameter. I straightened it out, marked a length 40 centimetres long, and used a pipe cutter to cut it to length. I also deburred the inside of the pipe. Next I bent a loop at the top of the pipe, so it looks like this. It's soft enough to bend by hand, but make sure you don't kink it. This is the same type of engine that I used for my spinning putt-putt boat video, which I made recently. Next take the jar lid, sit it on a piece of cork, and I'm using a screwdriver to pierce a hole through the top like this. Then I'm doing another one directly opposite here. It should look like this. Then take your copper pipe and thread it through the holes. Next I'm using a pair of pliers to bend the ends of the pipe around like this. Again, do make sure you don't crimp it. This will direct the water to help spin it around the globe. When you're done, put it down into the jar and make sure it all fits. You can see I won't actually be able to do the jar lid up because the pipes collide with the truck, but that doesn't necessarily matter. Next we need to pour some glitter into the snow globe. Then fill it up with water. We also need to completely fill our copper pipe with water to prime it, which you can do using a syringe or a pipette. Then quickly put it in the jar, making sure the water doesn't run out of the pipe. Next, place a candle under the loop and light it up. The flame will actually boil the water in the pipe, pushing steam down one of the legs and drawing fresh water up the other side. Once it's up to temperature, you get a burst of water, which picks up the glitter and spins it around the globe. The candle keeps heating the water, and it should keep going. But to be honest, this wasn't really the most impressive of snowstorms. And it did occasionally just stop. So I decided to remove this boiler. and replace it with this one instead, which has shorter legs and will hopefully work better. So I removed the old one from the lid and fitted the new one. I primed it with water and also added more glitter to the jar. And this time, because the copper pipe is shorter, I can actually screw the lid shut on the jar. Place a candle underneath the boiler and after about a minute, it kicked into life. This time it worked a lot better. It conjured up a real blizzard. Pretty cool, huh? The Puppa engine really pushes and pulls the water around. If the lid isn't screwed down properly, sometimes the whole thing shakes about. If you get snow building up at one point, like on the bonnet here, you can rotate the lid to move the pipes and change the flow path. It's really good fun to make and great to watch. 
all powered by the heat from a candle. You could of course make one out of a larger jar, and you can let me know in the comments what ornament you would put inside. If you want to see more fun ideas, you can click on the links, or take a look at my YouTube channel page. Stay safe, have fun, and as always, thanks for watching.